morning everybody good morning it is about 6 a.m here in ho chi minh city vietnam it is the 4th of march 2024 and uh we just uh you know sleep very good and early yesterday because we still have a jack lock so we will sleep at 8 p.m i will sleep at 8 p.m and wake up at 3 a.m again but at least i sleep in an hour so now uh, we just like you know, besides to take a work and looking for some coffee shop early morning. Early morning, going for a walk to get some coffee. Thought we'd take you along. And then, uh, early morning tennis in Vietnam. going for a morning walk like we said it's about 6 a.m. not quite yet about 5 50 in the morning and it's been a little while so we just thought we would take inventory of the neighborhood just to see how it's changed nice to see that here in district 2 of Ho Chi Minh City we're not on the Tao Dien side we're on the other side what's that main road that runs between Tao Dien and this area babe uh, what a different. what's the what's the main road Chung Nao. Chung Nao. Yeah. So, so, so the area where we're living is just like one place is big and a lot of foreigners come to living because the house is kind of like this house, bigger and beautiful. But another side is the regular people living. I mean, not regular. It's the just with me people living a lot and not the house is not foreign like another side. So we have to take a walk around and you see a big tennis court so see people just lie well. Yeah. Again, this is the tennis area in District 2. But what I was trying to note was that um, that main road separates. So District 2 is actually kind of like two separate areas in a way. There is the Tao Dien area, which is mainly consists of a lot of foreigners, international schools. Uh -huh. And businesses and then you have sort of like what I would consider like the non-foreigner side right yeah so, so but all part of district 2 but the main road separating that is uh -huh. now now yeah. so anyway we're just gonna continue walking through the neighborhood the here yeah we're a little early for coffee this morning but uh, we'll find something I saw one shop starting to open so we'll come back that way and see what happens but we're just gonna walk around and take you guys with us. Here we go. Now yeah, go straight this way. Let's see what happens down here. Some of the big villas here. They call them villas, but they're sort of like the mansion style houses. A lot of apartments, very tall apartments. This one happens to also have a business called Bonario. Looks like a curtain and wall covering place. The coffee shop in the corner is still there. That's really this one. Yeah. Ooh, look at this. I'm not sure what that is. Heads up. This is a little coffee shop not quite open yet. Around the corner here we used to come and get uh, rice paper they call it. So yummy. Kind of a Vietnamese snack maybe we'll show you later to give you some idea of what that is. I love it. Maybe we can look for some around here. It's so, it's so, so awesome. It's been a long time. Like like yep. There's another big villa right there in front of us. That place is beautiful. All these places are so nice. I love District 2. Oh, look, there's a big fish tank up there. Oh, that coffee shop. Little one. Yeah, look at that house. It's like a mini mansion or like a mansion here. It's just beautiful. 
Careful. Go this side. I have a spa here too. Yeah, a little spa. Uh -huh. This place across the street on the corner is a coffee shop. They're not open yet. And then, is this the place we used to come for? No, down here, right? No, on the different. left. Yeah. Let's go down here. Let's go across. This is it, because that building, remember? Wow, that's new. See that house? That's new, very modern. I'm not even really sure what style of architecture you'd call that, except obviously like, you know, Vietnamese modern. I don't know, I'm not sure. <laughs> Oh no, no, see the see the building? And they have the rice paper? Yeah. Yeah. Right in front. I think this is where we used to get the rice paper, babe. What yeah, you that's true, that's true. Okay. Oh I was looking for a modern coffee shop you like. And they have that little market we used to go to all the time and get snacks before we went home when we go for a motorbike ride. Yeah, beautiful. In a tech, in my tech. What kind of place is that? Is that automotive? Yeah, automotive or bamboo. Ah, okay. Yeah, this is where we usually come and get our rice paper. Careful. <laughs> school, goose school. Yeah. Goose school, yep. And yeah, then we sell the food out the mini stop. That's where we used to always go to get our snacks. Yeah. We were here before. And Tan's youngest sister, Goo, we call her Goo. This is her school. You want to get an IT inside here? You want coffee? Where? In here. Oh, okay. I want the real coffee. Uh, but I'm gonna take the IT here because I'm so hurry right now. Okay, I'll go in and see what they have. Long time, thank you. Come on. Little mini mart. Some bananas and melons. Some little lunch meats. So you've got, you know, 30,000 dong, which is about a dollar and a half. Less than that, maybe one and a half US dollars for a little package of meat. Keep in mind too, this is a, a mini mart, so prices are a little bit higher than market price if you go down in the neighborhood and get some meat. You can see, very clean, very well organized. Have a little freezer section here. Lots of different ramens and of course, candy. It looks, it looks so clean. Yeah, it's so nice. Yeah. Look, you have pens, writing paper, some cleaning supplies there. A little bit of Saigon beer. Good morning, Chaba Sang. Yeah, just microwave yeah. these meals. Just very fast for student can buy is only thirty cents. Little spaghetti and meatballs. So one dollar fifty cents for one of each for the children. Dollar and fifty cents. So you could buy this for kids for school. Oh, we have this one just right inside, wrapped with the seaweed, ah. the sandwich. Oh my god, this is the place I used to come and just buy food when I'm so hungry and fast. But you know, it's just super clean in here. The floor is very clean. Everything's so well stocked and organized. I mean, it's a great little market. Really enjoy shopping in this little market, believe it or not. Ah, cafe soda? Yeah. Okay, but I want an iced. 
Okay. Okay. And you can see that right there, coffee, 19,000 Vietnam dong, okay, for cafe soda. So that's one US dollar, actually less than one US dollar, just to give you some perspective. You have kind of an assortment here of different foods that you can get. Oh, so sorry. so good oh, look at that yeah it's chicken there got some pork I'm not sure this is like a breaded pork or something no uh, is, is your mom making breakfast for us and she's gonna go to buy some for us but I, I told her really, I get this sauce. maybe I want that chicken stick okay you want stick? yep and then look at this oh, bun bao so good all right. Anyway, as you can see, this is just the local mini mart, you know, like the 7-Eleven back home in America. Anyway, more to come. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you guys supporting us, supporting our channel. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. This chicken steaks and sausage steaks, and then they give you pre sauce. Busy, quite busy, you can see. Okay, sure. Inside, aircon. Yes. Good. And ice cream here, see that? And we have Student area. Yeah. A lot of students here, you can see wearing their school uniform. Of the school across the street. I try to. You can't see the trees in the way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. All right. So we decided instead of sitting inside the little mini mart to come to the park where we just showed you the tennis court, which is behind us now. Uh, we can see it from the other side. But we're just going to show you a little bit about our food here and kind of give you some sights and sounds of what it's like here in Vietnam at the local park. So I'm gonna flip the camera around. Anything else you wanna say, babe, before I flip no. it around? Ooh, that looks good. Yummy chicken. Let you try like this. Ah. And I have a sausage. I only have a bite, but look at this. Very good. <sighs> Cheese sausage. Sort of tastes like a, almost like a barbecue flavor. I wouldn't say southern style, more of an Asian style with a little bit of kick to it. So almost like a little bit of chili sauce, which is good, but I'm gonna put more on it because I want more kick. But very good. And I pay, what do we pay for this? Like $15,000? Less than a buck for this. So what was our total? A uh, hundred. hundred. So it's gonna be four bucks. Four bucks. For two drinks, one is like an IT for me and one coffee with milk for Eric. Yeah. And a little, um, you know, like dim sum for me. A little dim sum, like, bowl. Yeah. And, so, uh, just 
two people can eat very inexpensively, even at the local mini mart, you know. Um, here's my coffee. I've already drank some. As Tim mentioned, you know, she has her little tea. And then, of course, her little uh, bag of dim sum there. So you can spend as much as you want here, or you can spend as little as you want. And just hang out in the park in the morning and enjoying the sights and sounds. Good morning, it's a good day. I wake up a little bit too late. Cause I know it's Sunday, happy Sunday. I need to cup of chocolate. I pick up a rare in the summer bike. Why it's sad, I could miss it. I land in the air, you go ball on church and walk. I could book Instagram, scrolling for Toronto, half a city of man. Got them in the clinch of the hand. Take a take off a chair in my canon. Ping and Sunday, Harry, in the girls, and a pang, a pine, streaming at the steel lag. Yang bangunin, aku ingin menikmati semua berkat yang diberi.